positive thought leader, certified hypnotherapist, and intentional scrapbooking expert. She's also a writer, artist, speaker, and life coach who is dedicated to assisting others to achieve abundance, love, joy, and creativity in all areas of their life. Elizabeth is best known for her revolutionary technique, the intentional scrapbooking method. I am delighted to welcome Elizabeth Diamond. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to take a thought of something that it is that you would like to create in your life and then anchor that wish into this cute little wood block. Now, this here we go, 10 seconds, so you can see this. Um, this is actually a piece of construction wood. We're having a remodel done on our house, and I'm always looking for ways to repurpose and find platforms to anchor my dreams, my thoughts, my intentions. And so I just, uh, they were throwing these away, and I thought this would be great. So anyway, what I, what you do to take this little um, wood block here um, is just to find some paint to begin to paint it. And I love this because you're going to see that as I start to paint with, I'm using Adirondack uh, lettuce acrylic paint dauber, um, that you'll see that it actually has that nice wood grain that sometimes we pay, we pay a lot of money for in our papers. I'm going to push this down. Okay, there we go. Great. So um, now as I am just painting and I'm starting this little project, I'm thinking about my thought, my wish, and I'm using my thoughts to drum up images of what it would be like. And so I'm, as I'm doing this, I'm, I'm really using this as a tool to really focus on what it is that I am wanting to create and attract in my life and actually live out. And as I think about it, I start to infuse my thoughts with the feeling of it. And, and if you're familiar with the powerful universal laws, um, whenever it is that we want to create and attract something in our life, if we can find a way to infuse our feelings into our thoughts of it, um, it makes it so much more, uh, uh, we make ourselves a powerful, attractive force for whatever it is that we are wanting. So if you can see this, if this light is here, I'm just doing this platform on, um, I'm coloring the base of this project with some paint. And you can see that it's really bringing out that lovely wood grain look. That's why I love to work with just natural materials. Um, and, of course, it's just easy. It's like I have a thought of something that I want to create and attract in my life. And so I'm just kind of grabbing whatever it is that's around me in the moment to anchor this intention. Okay. So there we go. That's how easy this is. This is just how easy this is when you have a thought of something you want to do and so then the next thing I did was I found some pretty paper, and today I'm using Webster's Pages, um, this, I think it's called It's a Beautiful Life, and this one's called Beauty Magical Wishes, and if you can see, it has a word named wish, uh, wish on it, and so I'm going to cut that out, and I'm also going to cut out one of these flower images um, in the top corner just to put on the back. Now... Just to save time for the purpose of the show, I already created, uh, cutted this out. So all I'm going to do now is to adhere it, I can even just use some paint, which is so great about paint because it, it acts like a glue. And I'm still holding the image of my wish in my head. And I'm thinking about it. I'm feeling it. And, um, and I'm just anchoring it into this project. And because wishes have wings, and we're giving them shape and form. I like to use little pieces of um, whatever it is that represents a wish to me. And so I love to use angel wings. So I'm going to put that right on. I'm going to put a glue dot on. All right. So here we go. We have the wings. And now we're going to put the little word out here. And the and this is how fast it is just to anchor the intention, the thought, and the feeling of what you want into a little project. And let's see, my H dropped down here on the floor. All right. So here we go. We have the word wish anchored in. And then I made this cute little 
flower here, and these flowers out of fabric and ribbon are so popular right now. And this is also a ribbon that I purchased from Webster's Pages, but you can see it has fleece in it. And all I did to make this cute little flower right there is I just took some glue dots and I started to roll the ribbon up. So I put a glue dot right there and I just roll the ribbon. It's so easy to make such cute, unique flowers today and it's very fun. And once again, the um, I love to use flowers on my projects because I imagine that as I'm visualizing my dream or my wish, that it's, it's, it's a seed. We're planting the seed here, and it's going to blossom like a flower would. And that's just the process there. So you can see that I just use blue dots to create this cute, oh, here we go, <laughs> this cute little flower. And so it's, you know, and this is just fun. And, and something I'd like to say about this wood block is that it's actually an ATC size. So um, when I used to belong to an ATC group back in East Bay, California, we actually created ATCs one time using a uh, wood block for our ATC cards. So that, that might give you a little idea. So I just put this there. And then, you know, to add some little decoration, I'm going to add this little uh, ribbon trim around the edges. And then, of course, because it's so chunky on the top, this is why I love these wood blocks, is that it actually gives you room to put cute little things on the top. You could put a little angel there or whatever. And here we are. We're gonna, I'm going to put a little flower. And then at the end of my little wish, what I like to do, and something you can find if you go to my website, creatingintentions.com, is that we can use um, crystals to um, warm them up and actually infuse them with our wish so that they hold them for us on a steady and uninterrupted basis. And that is something that you can learn how to do by going to creatingintentions.com to sign up. And then there you go. We would just put this right here on top of the block, on top of the wood block. And, and you have your great little wish anchored into the wood block. People won't even know what it is. It's like making a wish on your birthday. <laughs> the wish is hidden, but all the thoughts, the images and feelings went into here and if you and I'll tell you something, if you spent more than three time three minutes on this, you're already um, activating the powerful universal laws and the universe is hearing your wish and is is going to make you more your subconscious mind is going to make you more aware of the opportunities that will lead to that. So back to you Tiffany, thank you so much for having me.